Who wants to try and install a system, a composed a full system? Anyone? Maybe we'll just wait a bit. I think people are confused. I don't know. Uh, uh, there are can I explain more? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the, the toolbox is a tool that I'm developing. It's still in development. Uh, so it has some rough edges and some confusion. One of the details is that it is very badly documented. That's not, not one of my strong sides. So what Boxer does is Boxer is a helper tool to compose a custom installation of Debian. You could use it on a single machine to maintain like yesterday, we, there was one guy who described how every time he had to uh, reset his computer, he had, he will remember and apply some custom theme uh, from GitHub. And uh, what he also does, most likely, is that he also remembers which packages he will install. Most people start out with saying, I want this kind of desktop. That's the only choice they make, is do I want a GNOME or do I want KDE? But then, when you are playing more with the system, then you realize it's not only GNOME. I want GNOME, and I want uh, GIMP, and I want these specific programs, and I also want uh, Malayalam or whatever uh, local language. And when you choose the task called Malayalam, then it uh, skips the email localization. Too. So you also want localization for the email, and you don't want that one. And you slowly start composing a system. So Boxer is a tool to try and help with the task of making the composition of the system from more first view of the system. So instead of managing each particular package, that will be a normal system has maybe 2,000 packages installed. So the very very high level is that you say you want to install a task, we call it in Debian. So we have meta packages in Debian, and the task packages are the high-level meta packages. So when you say, I want GNOME, then you are installing a task. When you are saying, I want Malayalam, then you are installing a task. But really, that is too high-level for me. And it's also too low-level to remember all 2,000 packages. So I want something in between. And most people, in reality, they want something in between. It's just a simple, too simple starting point to say two, three tasks. What I do when I install a package for uh, a system for the European Parliament is that I try to uh, I try to compose, I try to express what is the localization needed for European Parliament. So there's maybe 19 different languages that we need to support to cover the European Parliament official languages. Similarly, in India, you have around 20 different languages that are the official languages. I know that you have far more languages, that's not what I'm saying here. The official languages in India seen from India point of view. So if you were making a system and you wanted to promote politically, let's install uh, Debian on the parliamentary systems in the India Parliament or whatever it's called, for the whole of India country, then you would have around 20 languages. If you then go to Kerala and say, we want it for the, uh, yeah, the, no, yeah, the state, the state uh, uh, parliament, then you would have different languages covered because each state has their own definition of what is official, which is slightly different. So what I do in Debian, in, in, in Boxer, is I, I've made the tool that you can express classes of packages. So clusters, classes, groups of packages together. And I also maintain in Debian the box of data package, which is a couple of thousand classes of different groupings of packages. And maybe you agree with these groupings, maybe it's just a starting point for you. Maybe you want in the end to make a fork of the box of data classes. You still want to use the box of tool, but you maybe want to have your own composition of what do you believe is the groupings that make sense. Of course, I would dearly hope that if you are using Grouper so much that you, you customize the, the data package, then please collaborate with me and let's make the, the better da data package that can express classes that are both fitting your needs and my needs.
uh, I already have today some of the classes for the national level of India. Just as an, a proof of concept, I said, imagine that I would also have the opportunity to help people promote Debian in the India government. Then we would need Debian PAL for India. So already today, you can run, you can install the packages Boxer and Boxer Data, and then there's a sample installed to create a Debian optimized for parliamentary of India. And it only takes two or three classes. But when you look closer, then those classes depend on other classes, and in the end, you will unfold a system that installs XFCE with an email client with all of the official languages in India covered. And if you wanted to do the same without Boxer, you would need to step aside of the task system in Debian because it's too high level, you would have to manage it on the micro level of each package. So this is what Boxer can do for you. If you then want to express your current system, if, you want to, if your current system is Ubuntu with some customization, or Boss Linux with some customizations, then you would have to first look at what are the actual packages you have installed. And then you would have to distinguish what, which of these packages did you install. Because most of the packages is dependencies of your choices. The packaging system in Debian apps already have mechanisms to mark up things that are auto-installed and things that are manually installed. So that is a, the, your first thing you would do. Take your current system, or if you're composing a system for someone else, then you start out with installing a system by hand. And then you look at the installation with your package manager. What I use is Aptitude. It's a console-based tool, so it's not the nicest. Maybe you will have a nice time using a graphical tool. I don't know. I cannot really help you with the graphical tools. But what I do is I use Aptitude. It's a little clunky, but it does the job very efficiently when you learn how to navigate. And then I go in and mark all the packages that I don't really want myself, mark them as auto-installed. If they then want to be removed, then it's because if I don't want it, then nobody wants it. If no other package is wanted, fine, then remove it. It was an error to have this package installed. In the end, you will have maybe 2,000 packages, maybe 1,500 packages, and a few of them will be marked as manually installed. Then you take the manually installed packages and you look at the Boxer data set of classes and see if there is already a class that includes these manually installed packages. And hopefully you end up with having a little Boxer, uh, a Boxer file that only includes a few classes from Boxer. If you cannot express what you want because I haven't written this, this area. If you are doing something with electronics, or you want to do something with uh, language translation, or whatever area you have some custom interests, or something with mathematics, yeah. then I have not yet written the classes for this field. So there's two parts, uh, two, three angles to this as I'm co composing it right now. One is the interest itself. So if you take mathematics, then there's which tools are relevant for mathematics? And you would probably subclass it into what do you mean mathematics? Do you mean the uh, educational or the practical? So anyone who is out of school, they want it in practical terms a, a calculator, for instance. A calculator is not a learning tool. It's a practical tool. So there's mathematics, the core. Then there's mathematics the, for education, which might be subdivided into uh, minor uh, schools, the first six years, maybe the next six years, and maybe the adult education. Whatever is the classification you choose to make sense, and you hope makes sense for other people too. Uh, and then, when you have covered mathematics in itself, then there's the translations. Maybe we are too optimistic here and imagine that you have tools that are translated into Malayalam. Maybe most of the mathematical tools, you just have one package, and then it's so little translation that it's included into the main package. But if we imagine that this is a big area, like an email program. I already did the email program for one, the, the biggest email program, the Mozilla based program. Then there's separate packages for each language. So I have done classification for both the field itself, checking email, and then the, the 
the other related field of covering the lingual, the linguistic part of that. And then also I'm trying to look at what if you are a KDE person? If you want KDE and QT based things, which email program would you then favor? Because Mozilla is their own widget set. They use their own engine. This is a th the third field I'm trying to, to cover. The, the field of how heavyweight is the programs. So one thing is that when you're looking narrowly at one program and comparing it with another program, then you can measure how much memory does it take, how much disk space does it take, uh, how much download, uh, download does it require before you unpack on your machine. But really, when you're looking at the whole installation, then you should also care about what is the mixture of dependencies. So all of the programs that use the same style of programming, together they use less memory and less disk space and less download. So the ideal is if you can install a system where both the desktop environment and all of the tools that you need are written using the same style. So ideally, you would not want Ice Weasel when you're running GNOME. You would want something that is also written in ETK3. Mozilla use their own widget set called Zool Runner for their drawing of the of the buttons. And if you want, if you are, think that the, the most important thing is the web browser, and you like Mozilla web browser, then you should try and look at which other applications is also also running with Zool Runner, so that you save memory and save disk space. Or maybe you say, I don't give a shit. I want the nicest, most popular applications and I don't care about resources. I have a powerful machine. But personally, I try to optimize and say that what is the most optimal? If I prioritize electronics or I prioritize mathematics, then maybe I realize, oh, the best mathematical tools are written in QT. So then I try to shift the rest. When you are a mathematics teacher, you don't really care about the desktop. It just has to be a desktop, it doesn't it have to exist. But you don't really care about the desktop. So fine, if you want to then reach the, the, the largest target, target group, then you want a lightweight environment running with the best mathematics terms. Of course, if you are not a mathematics teacher but you are the head of the school, then might, you might say, well, the mathematics teacher wants something in QT, but everyone else wants something in GNOME. We don't want the best mathematics tools. We want something that is lightweight and can run on cheap computers and the mathematics teacher don't get what they want. So maybe we then flag it and say, if mathematics teachers were in charge, they would choose something else. They are being ruled out. So we try to communicate to the developer area, movement in the world, please rewrite some mathematics tools. Great, we want great mathematics tools written in ETK3 because the rest of the school needs ETK. So my dream here is that Boxer can be used here and now to, for you to install on your own machine. It can also be used to deploy hundreds of thousands of machines by Boss or by Hamara, hopefully, uh, to, to help them compose their systems. But it can also be used when larger installations use Boxer or similar tools then they can easier communicate to Debian and to developers which things are missing to have optimized systems. Because the way you are expressing it is through packages. You are expressing yourself through the packages instead of saying, we use Docker, we don't care about the operating system, we just snapshot from upstream, we bypass the operating system to stomp in the data, the, the, the software that we want. So the reason I wrote Boxer is that I want people to help Debian improve the infrastructure of Debian. So, I said this was a workshop. <laughs> so, uh, which computers are you using? I assume that people who are still sitting here and haven't run away by now is because they want to try and try out Boxer. So, grab your laptop and I hope it's a Debian based laptop. Yeah. Debian or Ubuntu or something based on Debian. Yes. So go online and do an app get install boxer and see if that works by So hi. Hi. 
welcome. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm trying to make a workshop of uh, a tool called Doxa. So if you're interested in trying out this tool, then uh, I will try and guide you all in doing it. Great. So the tool is a Boxer is a tool to make compositions of Debian. So it's a tool to help you automate an installation. Uh, you can use the tool to just maintain your own computer and make it more uh, efficient when you erase the hard drive and repeat the installation. But if it is for your own personal computer alone, then maybe it is too much work. The, the main use of this tool is when you want to, use, to install the same thing 1,000 times. Then you don't want to manage uh, a long list of packages. You want to try to handle that more efficiently. Uh, so for now, I suggest that you just try and generate the first setup without really interacting with it. Just do as I say, and then you can try to customize it afterwards. So what you will do is you will you want to install a computer system, Debian system, for the Indian Parliament. So to install a system for the Indian Parliament, you need to cover all of the uh, official languages of the Indian Parliament, and you need to install an email client because that is what people do in the Indian Parliament. They write emails. They want to reach the public. The problem in Debian is that when you install uh, the simple way in Debian, you install by selecting a task. So when you select the task of saying a desktop, you want a user-friendly system, then the question is asked, do you want GNOME or XFCE or KDE? But it doesn't ask you, and also it asks you which language do you want. So you can install a language and you can install a desktop. But what you get in results is one language, and you needed all of the languages for official India use, and you need and you set a desktop, but the email program of that desktop is not included. Because there's multiple choices of email, of email client, and the desktop didn't make that choice. Or if you chose GNOME, it will install a different email client that you maybe want to use. What I want to use is the uh, XFCE desktop and the Mozilla email client. And the tasks for the languages in India do not include the language components for the email client. So you need to micromanage the language choices for the email client and you need to micromanage the email clients for your desktop and you end up not being able to do it user friendly. So if you should start doing it, then uh, go online with your computers. I assume that you have something based on Debian, yes. Debian or Boxer or no, Debian or Boss Linux or Ubuntu or something. Yes. So we just hope that it works. <laughs> what you should do is you should install the package Boxer, B-O-X-E-R. So if you start out installing the package Boxer. And talk to Rigwet if you need internet access in the Wi-Fi here. And please use the Apple proxy. Okay. So what, what you do is you, at the core, you install the package tool, box up. Boxer data, these two things. Boxer data. These two things, the boxer is a tool that can generate a recipe to install a system. And boxer data is a lot of classes to compose different kinds of setups, different kinds of recipes. So what you can do only with these two things is you can do what I have the rest you can run, you can create the recipes that I have made. Can I create, I mean, like you, this is your own package system, yes, I create my own package? Yes, yes. You can create your own packages also, your own recipes, yes. 
So what you start with doing is install the package and run one of my recipes and see if it works. If it works, then not everything is broken. A lot of things is still broken. I know that some things don't work. But not everything is broken. So if you can create my recipe, then you can look at how do you create your own recipe. So I just want to have those people in sync on being able to create my recipe. And then we want to So who is still fighting with the thing here? You're still fighting. Yeah. And you're also fighting. Yeah. So what is the status? It is updating. So I will get sudo after okay. Okay. So waiting for it to finish. Yeah. But it hasn't failed yet. No. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully it's. Mm -hmm. And it's still 6%. Interesting. Maybe you need to install that. So that is uh, oh, types count. Uh, so that is. Uh, try to run and install lib type tiny. Type Maybe in some areas of the world they have a different definition of what does that mean. 
my definition at the moment, when you look closer at what it generates, is my definition of a parliamentary system is a computer system that runs free software and runs an email client. That's all. A lot of people will disagree with me. They say that people often do other things than write email, but that's what I have needed for my little test with 10 people in the European Parliament. We just needed email. That's all. So this system will install email and a bunch of other stuff that I don't really use. In other parts of the world, maybe they say, well, we need some math tools for the parliamentarians. I don't know. It might be a political project to convince them to know what they're saying. Yeah, so you would set up a different composition and you would call that parliamentarian. I don't know. So the, the, the role of the boxer is to generate different kinds of flexible systems, but be able to do it very consistently. And also shift around and say, I want the same kind of system as a stable system. I want the same kind of system as a testing or unstable system. What we did in the parliament in Europe was to say we want to run an old stable system because the current stable was not ready yet, and I really, really wanted something stable. So you can shift around and generate a, a different kind of system than the one we were developing. So you as a lead. You run testing or unstable web app, and then you create the target system. So we're trying now to be one. So you are, you have it successfully. You you run the box of math. Actually, I've installed CSHOW and CSHOW and CSHOW. So I've installed both. Oh, okay. It's super cool. Um, so you did you run the box of math? Yeah. And it worked. It didn't complain. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got some warnings. Yeah, yeah, warnings, fine. Then it's because you run SIT that warns about things, and that's fine. We warned that it was not a very complex setup. That's what it warned about. Mm -hmm. uh, did you also try and, and it works? Fine. Did you have it installed now? Yeah, because it said unable to set some archives. Oh, which ones? I'm sure. In from Ubuntu. Okay, run it again. It's just a it's just a network failure. Did you try? So failed to require a module runtime and exactly the same. Types. Sorry? You cannot make this work at the moment. The box that you installed depends on time tiny, which is the version is not linked against the correct in Ubuntu. And Ubuntu didn't notice because it, the metadata of the packages is not that box I think this is an error in Ubuntu, but I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. I think we should stop waiting for the rest of you. Sorry. <laughs> um, I don't personally use uh, virtual machines. Uh, I don't have computers that are powerful enough for that. But that might be an option if you are, want to work with different systems at the same time. Uh, I'm just not used to doing it like that. I think it's too difficult. I want to just. I'm an asshole and only work on that end. <laughs> so you, you can work on which two things, that's fine. Uh, and you made a good example of it. Yeah. It basically isolates that file system from the host world. Yes. You can do some things like that, but for instance, you could not run a desktop in a TXC group. That's more complicated. If you have a virtual machine, or what you can do, things like that. Okay. So for those of you who have succeeded running the box of what you now have is and preview file and, and the scripts. Those two are two different ways to do exactly the same thing. What you can do with this file is you can take the preview file and you can download the installer image from them. And then when you run the installer, you can say that you want to do an automated installer. Then it starts normally, it detects the hardware and the network driver, and then at some point it pops up and says, so where is the preceding file? And then you can write a command saying that the preceding file is on this USB stick. 
Or you can take the preceding file and put it on a website or somewhere and say it is on this URL. You can point it to the preceding file and then you can continue the installation and leave that because then it will do all the things that you, it's composed from the preceding file. That's one approach. Uh, another approach is you can run the text under the Debian installer and then when it pops up later in the process and saying what kind of system do you want? Then you say nothing, 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 nothing. I don't want anything. Don't give me anything. Give me just the core. Not even the standard thing. It also at the bottom says standard parentheses. This is recommended for everyone. No, I don't want anything. I just want the core. Then you take the core and then you take the script and then you log in as root and run the script. Then it does hopefully exactly the same as if you were running the PC file. It fixes the addition of packages and it does some tweaking and adapts the system. So that was for my system. That was for my Debian file system. If you want to run a different setup, then you need to set up a composition yourself. The one, the command you ran was docsup compose uh, file desktop India. The file file desktop India is a file in below user share boxer. So if you go to user share boxer, you will find a directory called classes and a directory called notes. Uh, oh, yes. Below Jesse or below Weezy, you will find classes and notes. Yeah. That's because it distinguishes between systems. So, what target system are you creating? So, if you go to Jesse, then you so if you try to go into the notes folder and find the file uh, desktop india.yml file and then edit that or just zoom in to the content. You visited Syria? Yes. yes. How was the experience? Yeah, the what, what did you do there? Yeah. I was there only for, we were there for a meeting of the Syria. Yeah. 
and it was very pleasant meeting because they were really interested in collaborating with us. So the problem is in communication that when you're looking at from the outside, you don't hear from them. You don't hear from them. You know, you try to email them, getting no response. I don't know what is wrong. Well, the greatest thing is that I suggested that, I suggested that we collaborate more closely so that we bring to Debian and work inside right. Debian. Right. And the response was, that's what we asked for many years ago. And when I searched in the Debian archive, I find some old emails. I didn't find the one that they were talking about, but I found other emails. Traces of people from CDAC contacting with Debian saying, how do we do these things? We want to make this distribution. How do we move on here? And there was no response. So it's from both ends. We want to collaborate closer and not hearing each other. So hopefully it will be better now. Because I went there and we looked at each other. I think we have contact now, but we will see. I also thought that we had contact four years ago. But then I went home to Denmark and half a year later. Give me half an hour and tell you what is the real thing. <laughs> that's, what, that's why I came at 12. Because I wanted to talk to you about something on this topic. Uh, I uh, read that it was a workshop from 10 to 12. I came exactly at 12. Oh, oh okay. I, I came at uh, around 12. Also, the schedule, it was 10 to 12. You were. Uh, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to learn the India system now. And I have learned that you are very sloppy about the time. So I, have, I arrived when I thought it was 10 India time. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, maybe I misunderstood something. You understood properly. I didn't know the time, the schedule. I didn't know myself the schedule. When I arrived here, I knew that I was late for the conference. I did not know that I was on schedule. <laughs> I think that the organizers were hoping for more people, so they were organizing for the larger assembly with multiple tracks. Yeah. So, and do, do you know do you know git the, the git command? So git has this concept of subcommands. You write a command and then you, the real command is with after that. I'm trying to mimic the same style, but really I only have one command. I only have one subcommand. Yeah. I have a big dream about boxer. Boxer should be a tool that can do everything. But right now it can do creating a preceding file. That's all it can do. So the real command is called boxer compose. But if you want to know how to tune the command, then you can write boxer help compose. Similar to me. So if you now write, what you want to do is you want to not use the nodes in users here, nodes. You want to use your own custom node in the current direction. So I think that what you should do is box up compose item item note beer dot. Maybe that works, but if it doesn't work, then try to write box up help compose. It should hint you about what is the option. Try to ask Tama to leave. Maybe wait till the other are trying out something and then discuss it together. Are you in a hurry? No, no, no. Thank you all. How far are you trying to... Later the younger. Yeah? Yeah? I don't know. Let's it as a note. So, so try, as I said, try and use box and help compose. Because then I read... Why would you do that? Why would you do that? 
you're getting the same error I told you. And what I said was, try that. If I'm wrong, then you got the help. Then I don't remember my, my own tool. That's okay. Oh, well, blocks are help composed. Yeah. What, what does it say about the options? Does it say anything? There were six options. I can I read up everything. I mean, I just does it say anything about the custom Nokia? Does it make any sense in what it says? I mean, it could be an error in my program, okay? So please don't assume that you're doing something wrong. It could be me. So tell, tell me what, you, what it looks like. Does it say in the help anything about how to change the note here? Amount, 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 amount. Yeah, but that's the, that's a combination of both. And you still want the classes from the common area, and you only want to change the notes. I believe I changed it again. Plus, we should only change the notes, only override the note part. Is it half instead of here? Or, um, it worries me that there's complete silence. Is that? <laughs> <coughs> yeah. This is not a trick question. It's, it's not like I have the answer or something. Okay, so what you did before was that you were just relying on all of my tools to do all of the things. And this boxer uses two parts. It uses a big library of, of components, pieces, to put together. And then it uses a setting file, what they call a node file. So when you want to create a, a, a recipe, you call, you, you, you activate one of the nodes. There's one node that is called uh, PAL Desktop India. That was what you did before. What you did before was you just said, give me this, the recipe for this node. Then what it internally does is it, it looks up in the shared directory, user share box up, for both the classes and the nodes. What you then want to do now is you still want to use the same classes, but you want to make your own custom node. So you want to run the same command, but then additionally you want to say, I don't want to look for the nodes in the CI directory, you want to look for the nodes in the current directory. Okay, that's how you copy the tools. Yes. Yeah, so you copy it over, and then just so that you know that you're really doing it on your own one, you rename it also. Thanks for asking me, because I was, it's a, it's a classic failure that I have it in my head what you should do and tell you how to do it, but you don't know why. So, I, <laughs> no, but it's good. Thanks.
position for schools also in the technology. Because uh, from this academic year, I would like to go to different schools. Okay. Yeah. To, yeah. to promote the Yeah. 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 Um, I want a simple system that can be used in schools and colleges. What Devian already has is something called school demos. Devian huh. Edu. Mm -hmm. How many years? That's not a simple system for schools. That is a big system for schools and a very specific setup, which is mostly I would say is get most possible available and free software to schools and then take over a whole school network. Boston Alex is quite satisfied. I'm quite happy with that five points you were there. Uh -huh. This is quite a bit old. Now they are uh, released six point zero also. Yes. But five point zero seems fine. I am working uh, with all uh, activities uh, in school and colleges. And I don't have much difficulties in implementing in school. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But these people are not supporting me properly. The getting support is quite difficult from say. That is the problem. Okay. Um, what I want to do here with schools is I would like to have teachers involved in setting up the classes. Correct. The delicacy of this is I don't want too strongly to compete with school leaders. I don't want to say that school leaders is wrong. Right. But at the same time, I am hinting that school leaders is wrong because school leaders is not useful for everybody. What I want to try to do is make components that different kinds of schools can make different kinds of profiles. So I want to add educational classes to Boxer. Right. And then ideally we can then express school leaders using Boxer and also express other kinds of school, uh, school setups using Boxer. So that is my approach. But I want to balance it the end of like, I want to support school leaders. If it works now, then I'm very much happy with Boxer. Yes. Yeah. So I'm trying to work on it from a different angle, kind of different approach. And then ideally we end up with something that can also be school Linux. So as a teacher, if you do want to join the school Linux and follow what they're doing, yeah. but just be aware that what they have now is a, a huge system. It's a super tank of schools. Mm -hmm. um, but then at the same time, I would love to have in trying to identify what is from an educational point of view, yeah. the kind of ways to group things. Yeah, yeah. You can look at school news and trace based on that because they have all of these parts. And but they have very easily said that they are not interested in trying to define the components that they are. So I would love to do the components. In Kerala, they claim that they have done the more simple setup. Yeah. The profile for a school that works here. I would love to have someone, it could be you, anyone, take the Kerala system. Maybe it's also open. Take the Kerala system. Identify what is the selection of actors and what is missing from them and what is missing from And then try to classify that into a mathematics and to why are the different parts. To try to reverse engineer the, the intense in, in, incentive of the intensity of that system. Why did they choose these things? Why did they choose these? Uh -huh. That's probably because they wanted to oh, celebrate. Grade. This is probably because they wanted to accept the You can recognize that kind of thing because by looking at these things. Maybe by looking at the menu system, maybe by looking at like, the tools themselves. So help me classify education. The object is ICT at school. Yes, ICT at school. ICT So look at it at ICT at school. Look at boss box and look at keys feature. All of these three have sat down and made collection of packages. And when you install the full system, you end up with thousands of packages. But you only want to fix up of the pyramid. Why did they pick the things that they picked from the That thing I would love to have registered the Because when you have only the top pieces, then it's far easier to maintain an upgradable system. The new version has different things on the bottom, but yeah. You have the same. That's 
this, unfortunately, this is the error that also the other ones running Ubuntu were running into the same problem that it is linked against the wrong version of Perl. What you maybe can do, I don't know which version of Perl you're running, but maybe you, you can get away with switching the, the extra line, switching it from Jesse to scratch, uh, and then try again. And then try update, box and box, and inside box, and update, tiny, tiny, but I have stopped trying to solve the problem for you. Uh, you have now a system that is slightly broken because you have installed a few packages from a distro that is not aligned with her. And somewhere in that setup, some of the packages did not mark correctly their needs. I strongly suspect that this is an error in the Ubuntu. The reason I'm so strongly suspecting that is I made the packages of the entire time for Debian and I did mark the dependencies of her. So Ubuntu seems to be doing something more solid. Maybe I did, but I didn't never test, test it on Ubuntu. I only made it for Debian. So it's, it's, it, it cannot work as it is now. <laughs> but it's not it's not box itself that's broken and some of the dependencies are box. It's the package called the type tiny, which is linked against the C based curl in a different version. Now also we can we can share with others because I think others are also Probably giving the same problem to you. No, no, I'm not getting any. No, oh, sorry. Offset compose and then I can note the end and give the part of the. It worked? Okay, so you can you succeeded in running with the local node that you created? Great. So, did, uh, did, did others also succeed? Finding the thread, then could you please speak louder and share it with the others? Because you found the solution that I. I gave the, the wrong guy. So the thing you did different from what I said was you didn't use cloud. You need you broke the full path? Yeah. Ah, okay. So it cannot my tool cannot handle relative path. So Please file a bug report in Debian against Dr. Okay. Sage. <laughs> Could you please make the tool more flexible and handle relative directions, relative graph? I mean, if you want, you, it would help me if you do it, because I may, I may forget this again. If you want to, so please. You found a bug, and you even found a solution for it. About the name Boxer, yeah, uh, yeah. the significance of the name Boxer. Um, <laughs> we have to so fight a lot. <laughs> no, it's not because you're fighting a lot. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's a problem, you could say. No, the, the name Boxer is because it is the process from making it well. The distro is, at least conventionally, it is making things into a CD model, make it into an install, install media. And then the tool is helping from having a distribution to getting it onto your system. Okay. So, boxing it. <laughs> so, okay. making it into a box. Strength grabbing. It's a strength grabber tool. So, putting so it once in. I compose it for school, then I can bounce uh, ISO no. on, uh, as a standalone instruction. No. Or every time I have to do no. the box and instruction. This tool is not, the, the goal of this tool is not to make a CD. Ah, that's the whole point. This is beyond main like, uh, menu in a uh, restaurant. You can get it, and everybody should. You know what? What this tool can do huh. is, you as a developer, yeah. you can create the preceding files. No, you can create a, create the profile yeah. for an installation. You can put it up on a website, and then you can tell people <coughs> if you want my kind of, of design, my okay. kind of setup. Then you can use the standard Debian installer. And then you send it when you want to install uh, with a custom profile. And then when you are popping, popped up and asks the location, yeah. then you type in my website. Right. And then people can install the same system that you can go for. 
So this is and how to how to come from the CD yeah. to the box. So you don't need any ISO or something like that. Yes. Start with normal system yes. and then customize. Start with no system. Start with the installer of the system. And at that time only you go to a website. Yes. So it's getting from a CD ROM, from an installation routine. Right at that time, you switch to box. Yes. As a user of box, you use a developed box of profile, which has no special box name because what you produce is a Debian installer file. It's not a box of files, it's a Debian installer file. Or it's a self-reason. That's good to go out and uh, in the pipeline, right? in my dream, I have even more outputs. Maybe you can output a live CD. Maybe you can output uh, directly on a media. And, and a USB stick that has the live installed system. Multiple ways to, to produce a box. So it's the middle layer between having a final Debian and then having a final system. Wrong. So the moment you figure it out, share with the rest. Don't share it only with me. And also file local calls. <laughs> <laughs> so the remaining step is now you have copied over my profile, the node set up for this desktop India. You, you, have it, you have created your own name, but you still have the same setup. The same in content is the same. So what you should do is you could change the content. But if you, with an editor, you open the you know, node field file, and then you change some of the content. The question here is like, how what can you write here, right? So when you go back, if you go back to the user share box up directory, then in there there's the classes directory. There's hundreds of classes in there. I think there's a couple of thousand now. Uh, take some random class, look into the content of the class. The same structure, which is in a class, you can also use inside a node. So you can add explicitly some packages you want part of your profile. Or you can add some classes you want included. At the moment, you can only add the classes that exist in the class system. So if you want different classes, that's a bar. You cannot use multiple classes. You cannot both subscribe to my classes and your own. You have to do everything yourself. So that's really, really a headache. So for now, if you want something additionally that is not in a class, you don't write a class. You write explicit so try add a couple of additional things, either a couple of classes <coughs> or a couple of packages you want additionally in your custom node. And then when you've done that, you can try and run the box command on that and double check the preceding file that it really includes the thing that you have. Huh? I didn't understand the why I can. The YAML file, yeah? Yeah, so uh, the structure of the file is called YAML, YML, it's short for YAML. It was invented by the Perl people, but it was in intended to be a general purpose structure file. Nowadays, JSON, which was first invented for uh, JavaScript, has become this, the, the, the norm of this kind of generic uh, structure. But YAML can do some of the same things as a JSON file can do. So you can have a hierarchical structure of content that can be string or, uh, or uh, numbers or other things. What I use it for is hierarchy of strings. The details of what is the syntax of, the, of this file is in user share doc box of data. The readme file in there has my definition of what should go where, what can you expect from different parts of the yellow file. I'm not so good at documentation <coughs> myself. I usually just look at existing code and copy over what other people do. And also what I'm saying that you should do here is you shouldn't read the manual. You should just copy over things that I have written in the class files. So that's what I do myself. That's what I'm best at. There is a little documentation. And if you find that the documentation is not really satisfying, if it's not useful, <coughs> again, please find a bug report. 
or if you cannot find a local button, send me an email. My email address is also in usershare.box. The information is there about the offer. So I'm very happy to get complaints that can really improve the package. Okay, so apart from trying to make this work, there's one last thing. Please stay in touch. So the other people organizing this and Praveen will probably promote that you should use XMPP, Java, to chat. The place that most developers of Debian are hanging out <coughs> is the crappy, old, obnoxious, annoying IRC. I hate it, but it's the place that all the Debian developers are. So please, in addition to use shiny new tools that work on mobile phones, please also figure out how to use IRC. I'm not telling you how to use IRC, you can go online and search for it. There's many, many places they document how to use IRC. It's old, and yes, it is clunky, but you can reach the real geeks. There's one place that I recommend to you to go at first is on the network ORTC.net. <coughs> go to the channel <coughs> cache Debian hyphen in. That's the place where the Debian enthusiasts in India hang out. And it's also, I'm also hanging out there and I try to uh, reinvent it as being Debian International. So there's also a couple of people from South, America, South Africa hanging out on the same channel. But generally, the more India people that are there, the more it becomes Debian in India. So please go to this channel. If you don't want to talk to me, but you want to talk to other people who are interested in Debian, go to this channel. If you want to talk to me, go to this channel. Whatever you want to do in your life, go to this channel. <laughs> so I'll be standing here until you all have written it down. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Did, you, did you get it already? Yeah, yeah. We okay. met already, no sir. Okay. <laughs> in Chennai, you were in Chennai. Good. We had a meeting that Saturday or uh, something. We were there, there in the meeting for this conference. We were there on chat. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, we yeah, yeah, yeah. okay.
yet. Then your task is to complain and maybe if you want to help out making it the best tool for your interest. So I already helped create an interest group for people wanting to make a hackerspace. So there's multiple areas in there that people want to tinker with electronics, people want to tinker with single board computers, people want to do other kinds of things related to a hackerspace. So there's now an interest group called Debian Tinker. There's also uh, an interest group for people who are in love with Boss Linux. So there's a, a, a mailing list in Debian called Boss. And the Boss developers are joining that mailing list now. So anybody interested in Boss or wanting to complain and shout at Boss, but well, not shout, maybe still do that, but if you want to collaborate with the Boss people or just want to follow what they're doing, there's a mailing list in Debian where you can do that. And if you have your own interests and you cannot find a place to work on your own interest in Debian, then please contact me on IRC, challenge me. <laughs> Maybe I can help you find other people that want to work on the same kind of thing. And then we can create a, a space in Debian to work on that. And then maybe, maybe, maybe you also fall in love with Boxer and want to use Boxer to compose a custom system of Debian. Which is not only your tools, but also a desktop around it, maybe some servers around it. So the kinds of installations for your topic, for your interest. So, please join me on RC. Yes, yes, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. I've had a lot. Let's get on.